Remember, a Hallmark card when you care enough to send the very best. Tonight from Hollywood, the makers of Hallmark cards bring you another in their exciting new series of broadcasts on the Hallmark Hall of Fame. Each week, Hallmark will bring you true-to-life stories of actual persons who, in their own way, have contributed to a better world for all of us to live in. Presented on the Hallmark Hall of Fame by our distinguished host, Mr. Lionel Barrymore. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Hallmark Hall of Fame, respectfully dedicated to those men and women whose service, sacrifice, and devotion have made our own lives better, but about whom we know all too little. Look around your town, count the streets, rivers, and lakes, and parks that have Indian names. Well, they should. For to some Indians, we owe much of our present greatness. One of the greatest of these was Sacagawea, the bird maiden. Without her, America might not rule supreme between two oceans. In a moment, the thrilling story of the young Shoshone bird maiden who guided the eagle to success. And now here is Frank Goss from the makers of Hallmark Cards. When you want to remember your friends, there's one way to be sure the card you send receives an extra welcome. Look for that identifying hallmark on the back when you select it. For words to express your feelings and designs to express your good taste, let the hallmark on the back be your guide. For that hallmark tells your friends you cared enough to send the very best. Lionel Barrymore is appearing by arrangement with Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, producers of Battle Circus, starring Humphrey Bogart and June Allison with Keenan Wynn and Robert Keith. And now, here is Lionel Barrymore with the first act of your Hallmark Hall of Fame. To Sequoia, Massasoit, Cochise, Pocahontas, add another Indian name. Seca Jawia, bird maiden, the faithful one. Seca Jawia of the Shoshone Nation that roamed the eastern Rockies, that stern, stony barrier to the way west for America 150 years ago. In 1800, Sacagawea was in her early teens, and there begins her epic that joins its cadences with the majestic epic of America. This is her story, as the Shoshones might still tell it to their dark-eyed little ones. High upon the great stone mountains of the brave Shoshone nation, of the warriors and the hunters, of the bowmen and the lancers, live the maiden, Saka Jawia, daughter of the tribal chieftain pledged to duty and her people, faithful one, Saka Jawia. Go, her mother told the maiden, go beside the bubbling water. Find the bombwort at the river, gentle herb to ease the fever of your father's, father's pain. To the river went young Sacagawea alone. Her grown brother practiced at his shooting. She went alone. Darkness thickened. Out of the stillness and the woods, a band of marauding Minotauri Indians closed in on her. A quick scuffle of bare feet. An Indian girl is kidnapped. 
A minute tragedy in a vast wilderness still casual to violence. And there's a world to make. There's a new nation dreaming of greatness, aspiring westward. In Washington, President Thomas Jefferson interviews a young engineer, his secretary, Captain Merriweather Lewis. Captain Lewis, sir. Sir? Captain Lewis, three years ago, Spain ceded Louisiana to France. We are now hemmed in by three great powers. Spain on the south, Britain on our north, France on our west and southwest. If we do not break out of that encirclement, we stand fair to perish as a nation. I suspect what the mission is, sir. I was eager for it years ago. We must send an expedition to the great northwest before some other power claims it. When you wished to go years ago, it was no game for young men fresh out of Latin school. Today, your offer has ripened with events into acceptability. And I do accept. Mr. President... Now, don't be so overjoyed and grateful. You may die. I want to go. I, uh... I have a friend, sir, very capable, an officer, Lieutenant William Clark. I, uh, I should like him to go with me, sir. Indeed, Captain. May you both return to our gratitude and your honor. White men on the great Missouri, great canoes upon the waters. Or in sail of the intruder, where no white men went before. And the angry river struck them, and the heavens spoke with thunder, and the wilderness with drums, summoning the many nations. Sioux, Shoshone, Mandan, Crow, summoning the fatal arrow, rallying the bitter bow. Yet only at the great stone mountains did the white men pause, dismayed. What desolate country ahead, Clark. Appalling. From here, it's a wasteland stood on end. It's a formidable-looking wall, Lewis. Formidable. A wilderness of rock and snow and avalanche and mountain torrents. We'll need horses to get across. I counted on the Indians to provide them for us. Instead, they take pot shots at us from cover. Hello. Who's that? A friend to share your fire. That is all. A trapper, moi, Charbonneau. Toussaint Charbonneau. To share your fire. This is Captain Clark. I'm Captain Lewis, President Jefferson's Corps of Discovery. A pleasure, monsieur. Another white man in this wilderness? <laughs> no, the Indians think not. They almost treat me as an equal, as one of them. And what do you consider yourself? Ah, a trapper who can be useful if you take me with you. Anywhere. The world is my destination. Huh? As it happens, we may be going nowhere except back home. Ah? Uh, how is that? We need horses to cross the Rockies. We can go perhaps 50 miles more, that's all. No, not even that, Capitaine. Oh? Uh, why do I say not even that? I say not even that because before you go that far, you would be attacked by the Shoshone Indians who live in the mountains and guard the passes and the approaches to them. Hmm. Clark? I don't know. Ah, aha, uh -huh. I have an answer. Nearby, there is a Mandan village where there is a Shoshone girl. Oh, oh, very pretty, very nice. And she was sold to this tribe some years ago by a band of marauders from another tribe. Oui, she is a Shoshone. The danger is from the Shoshones. The Shoshones have horses. Who knows what may be arranged, huh? What's her name? Sakajawiya. Can you get her for us? Oui. If you buy her freedom, get her. From the wild of the north, from the young voyager, we did boy your son. Sakajawea. Well, I don't see. What does your name mean? But you know, Shoshone. Not your name. Bird Maiden. Oh, delightful. Yes. <laughs> but it's funny. Sacagawea, <laughs> do you know what we want to do? Go over the Great Stone Mountains to find the Columbia River and follow it as far as we can go. Columbia. To claim the Northwest for my people, for America. America? It's my home. 
great and good and powerful. Great ships, many people, great cities. They are stronger than the Shoshone? Much stronger. <laughs> Very well. You are angry with Sakajawiya? No, no. You're proud of your people and you love them. Oh, yes. You would like to go back to them, wouldn't you? Yes. You're free, you know. Just, just help us to reach your people and get horses from them. We need them desperately. Then go free. Yes. Oh. Oh, hold that helm steady. You almost let that squall capsize us. Uh, all right, again. Charbonneau did us a good turn by finding you for us, but he's the worst waterman in all the world. Just a moment, we will return to the second act of our story of Sacagawea. If you have little friends who like to play the dark, mysterious game of pirates, here's exciting news. Now you can send each of them a pirate ship in an envelope, a big, colorful replica of the ship designed by Walt Disney for the new movie, Peter Pan. Each Hallmark pirate ship has almost two dozen parts the youngsters can punch out and put together without the aid of scissors or glue. There's a long red and brown hull, four buckling sails, and three tall masts that carry crow's nests and Jolly Rogers. Yes, the Hallmark pirate ship is a storybook dream come true. And here's a wonderful plus. Together with the ship goes a map of Never Never Land. This map spreads out to more than 28 inches in length, so the ship can be sailed around it from Skull Rock to Mermaid Lagoon or from Pirate Cove to Blind Man's Bluff. There's no doubt about it. The Hallmark pirate ship and map will give every imaginative youngster hours of fun. And the cost is just one dollar, complete with mailing envelope. So look for the Hallmark pirate ship the next time you go shopping. You'll know it by the Hallmark and crown, that same familiar symbol you always look for on the back of a card, when you care enough to send the very best. And now here is Lionel Barrymore. <laughs> Clumsiness of Charbonneau seemed to consign the pirogue with its priceless equipment to the bottom of the Missouri River. But Sacagawea, refusing to abandon ship, sat in the stern, calmly collecting the flotsam in the almost swamp boat, saving it from the river. Miraculously, the pirogue righted itself and floated. Charbonneau had failed wretchedly, but Sacagawea had not failed. The courage and fortitude of her Shoshone heritage had saved the expedition. Sit closer to the fire, Sacagawea. You're cold. No, Captain Lewis. Do you know what you did today? I think. All the instruments, the maps, and medicines for the expedition were in our pirogue. If you hadn't stayed on board and saved those drifting things, we'd have been helpless. 3,000 miles from... Anywhere. Yes. You you knew that then? I think. Thank you, Sakajawea. Bird maiden. We must be close to your country now, Sacagawea. Yes, Captain Lewis. What should we expect? I do not know. Will they be friends to us? Will they hate us? The white man is not kind to the Indian. But we want to be friends with all people. It would be good. The great white father in Washington respects Indians. His defense of Logan, the great Mingo chieftain, shows it. We don't come seeking war. My people are not warlike. They love peace. Will they give us the horses that we must have? I will try. Then you think they will be friendly? I do not know, Captain Lewis. I cannot... Why do you stop? 
What do you see? There. Where? I see nothing. Far off, Captain Lewis. Smoke. Smoke signals? Yes. Your people? Yes. I know Shoshone, but not Shoshone smoke. Read it. White men. They have discovered us, then. They have seen your boats. What else does the smoke say? Wait. Peace, Sacagawea. Is it peace? Or do they want war? We do not want war, Sacagawea. Peace, Sacagawea. Answer, peace. War. On the ridge and on the summit smoke Shoshone signal fire. Rise, the fires told my nation. Strike the white men who invades us. Rise, Shoshone, wild kinsmen. Crooked arrow, crazy buffalo, burning rock and yellow feather. Braves and chieftains, lances, bowmen. Kagohani, little raven, Shiahiki, white coyote. Anger, kinsmen, rage, Shoshone. War, Shoshone, on the white man. Thus the fires on the ridges, thus the signals in the sky. No sign of attack yet, Lewis. Sacagawea, do your people attack in darkness? Yes. So much for that. Thirty-two men in a tight little ring facing the whole Shoshone nation. In the dark, too. If your people attack, will you go over to them? They are my people. My father was a chief. My brother was a brave. You're honest. Quiet. Hear anything? I didn't. They're there now. Are you sure? In the darkness. I'll just go around the circle and warn the men. How could you wear? Yes. I hope we do not have to hurt your people. <laughs> yes, how could you wear? I thought Indians never weep. No. Down. Fire arrow, flaming arrow. see them yet, and they'll see our gun flashes. The sharp one always hit. Help him, Sacagawea, will you? No. All right, I can't wait. No. No. Sacagawea, come back, come back. So, she deserted. We should have expected it. What should we expect now? Very still. Something's brewing. Wait, men! Shoshone! All! Listen to me! She's out there! She's mad! I stand between you! I, Sakajawea! Shoshone! Nathan! These white men are your friends! I know them! They are good! You can trust them! Why can we trust them? Shoshone Nathan! Send your greatest chief out here! White men, send your chief out here. Let your chief meet between your warriors to parley peace. Come with no weapons. I bid you. I, Sadagawea. Fair enough. Don't be a fool, Lewis. It's a trick. I'm going to meet their chief out there. You'll be murdered. Otherwise, we'll all be murdered. I'm going. <laughs> Captain Lewis, here is our Shoshone chief to talk peace. Then speak. We want peace. We need horses to cross the mountains. We will pay for everything. We want peace. White man's lips say peace. His guns speak war. These white men are our friends. Their great white father in Washington loves us. President Jefferson. That means good. The great wilderness they have come through, they did not conquer in blood. They bought it from the French. These are new white men. These are the Americans. They do not steal. They buy. 
they wore if they are warred upon. And they will bring much good to our land. Oh, let them pass. How you know these things? I have been with them. I know. How I know you speak the truth? I am Sakajawea. A chief was my father. A torch! Bring torch! Why? What does this mean, Sakajawea? Why does he call for a torch? It is dark. This woman say she is Sakajawea. Long lost. I ask for torch. Any trickery, my men will fire. And mine. You will perish to a man if there is trickery. Here comes your torch. You who say your father was a chief. Look at me. Dance the torchlight in the darkness. Dance the shadows in the hemlocks. While the chieftain gazed upon her. At the maid, Sakajawea. And the blood that swam within her called to blood that swam in him. For the chieftain, Kamiawait, was the brother of the maid. She, his sister. He, her brother. It is true. You are my brother. Those who say the red man weeps not. And who say they grieve, rejoice not. No, not breathing man at all. In the torch glow, dancing, glancing, wet their cheeks with tears of greeting, tight their arms with joy embracing. Then the great chief, Kamiawait, found again his voice to lead with. Friends! Shoshone Nation! Peace! What will you do, Sakawaji? You will cross the stone mountains to the sea. I will show the way. I know that your coming must bring sorrow to some. That is the way of things. But you will bring even more goodness and gladness. You will march your great cities, your magic and medicine across the plains and the stone mountains. And one day, all the peoples will dwell in friendship in such a nation as our greatest chieftains do not dream of. But I know. I, Sakajawea. The expedition of Captains Lewis and Clark for exploring the River Missouri to the Pacific Ocean has met with all success. They have traced the Missouri nearly to its course, descended the Columbia River to the Pacific Ocean, learned the character of the country and of its inhabitants, one of whom did such service to the expedition and the future of this nation that she shall not be soon forgotten. Thomas Jefferson, President of the United States, December 2nd, 1806. and Clark, one of the greatest in the history of exploration, opened the great Northwest to the American flag. Unknown to many, Sas Sacagawea's exploits have not gone unnoticed in our own land. As a matter of fact, no other woman in America has been honored with so many memorials as Sacagawea today. A mountain, a mountain pass, and a river are named after her. Bronze statues commemorate her in Portland, Oregon, Bismarck, North Dakota, and St. Louis, Missouri. Other memorials to Sacagawea stand throughout the great Northwest. Well done, Sacagawea, bird maiden, faithful one. And now, here's a little preview of the person we're honoring next week on the Hallmark Radio Hall of Fame. But first, here's Frank Goss. 
And maybe now I'll find out why he's wearing that green tie and green carnation. <laughs> Have you ever asked an Irishman how he can tell when St. Patrick's Day is coming? He's apt to look at you with a twinkle in his eye and say, Sure now, there's a song in the wind that blows from the old country. It's the piping of the Kerry Dancer's tune. Well, the idea is a whimsical one, and it's part of the charm that makes March 17th a day of rollicking good humor. And you know, you don't have to be an O'Flaherty or a Hannigan or McBrady to join in the fun. Even if your name is just plain Smith, you can share your feeling of happiness with your friends by surprising them with Hallmark St. Patrick's Day cards. At a store near you where Hallmark cards are sold, you'll find a big collection of these special greetings. All of them gay green cards with a bit of blarney about them. So why not plan now to send thoughtfulness in an envelope this St. Patrick's Day? You can count on it. The hallmark on the back of each card you mail will mean, as always, you carry enough to send the very best. <laughs> well, that sure isn't blonde you're talking, Frank, my boy. And it set me to thinking about all my good Irish friends. You know, the Irish have contributed a lot to our American heritage. Oh, they've contributed things like a sense of the humorous, a touch of the poetic, gift for storytelling. They've given us great examples of deep faith and personal courage. And a good Irishman often combines a real sense of the practical with the most wonderful sense of whimsy ever developed. Yes, sir. The Emerald Isle seems to turn out leprechauns and heroes with equal ease. And so I'll doff my hat, too, on St. Patrick's Day to all those good Americans who are rightfully proud of their Irish origins. Well, <clears throat> next week on the Hallmark Radio Hall of Fame, we're going to honor a man whose inventive genius made possible the greater newspapers of today that are the backbone of our cherished free press. He is Otmar Magenthaler. And I know you'll want to hear his story. Now, our Hallmark Hall of Fame is every Sunday. Our producer director is William Gay. Our music was arranged by Earl Towner. And our script tonight was written by Milton Geiger. Until next Sunday, then, this is Lionel Barrymore saying good night. <laughs> Look for Hallmark cards that are sold only in stores that have been carefully selected to give you expert and friendly service. Remember a Hallmark card when you carry enough to send the very best. The part of Sacagawea was played by Loreen Tuttle, with Whitfield Connor as Meriwether Lewis and Lamont Johnson as William Clark. Others in our cast included John Stevenson as the storyteller, Ben Wright as Toussaint Charbonneau, Ted DeCourcy as Kami Await, and Frank Martin as President Jefferson. Every Sunday, Hallmark Cards presents two great programs for the whole family's enjoyment. The Hallmark Hall of Fame on radio with host Lionel Barrymore and on television with Miss Sarah Churchill. Consult your paper for time and station. This is Frank Goss saying goodnight to you all until next week at the same time when we present another true-to-life story of actual persons who in their own way have contributed to a better world for all of us to live in. Next Sunday, we honor Otmar Mergenthaler on the Hallmark Hall of Fame. This is the CBS Radio Network. This is KNBC, Kansas City, Missouri.